XRP, we start with daily chart just I want to give a quick update. And uh, first of all, there was no much update for the XRP, Bitcoin, and even the rest of the coins because this year I try, this year I try to give less update uh, unless we see the big movement like today. All right. And even if you refer to my last analysis and even before that, every time for I mentioned for this year, I'm looking for the XRP because we know both for because of the SEC case. And this is what we get. All right, and as we can see from 47 to 46 in one day went to, uh, went to somewhere around 95 cent, almost two times, right? By the way, first we go through what we explain in my last analysis. If you refer to my last analysis, my last video, exactly when the price was within this move, I mentioned I'm looking for one more drop. And I, we have this line since last analysis. Again, if you refer to my last analysis, I put this line. I mentioned I'm looking for, at that time, exactly the price was within here. I mentioned I'm looking for the flat price drop to 42. Then any reversal from there, we can look for buy. The best opportunity to look for buy was from here. Because whoever get the buy from here, their stop loss should be somewhere below 42 cents. All right? And this is what we get. Okay, that's why I mentioned I'm looking for one more drop. When, when the price, uh, we can expect the price drop to 42. Then from there, we can look for the reversal. And at that time, based on uh, daily chart, I mentioned the target at least I'm looking for is 67 following by 76 cents. I mentioned I'm looking to see the breakout of this. Zone. All right. And for those traders, they get the trade for buy from here. This is the targets we have been looking for based on daily chart. At least right now, they should know how to manage it. Either move their stop loss to break even or book some profit, all right? They shouldn't leave it without them moving their stop loss to at least break even or booking some profit. And even I had a second update and this one was in the groups and the pages, all right? I mentioned based on weekly chart, I'm looking for this. This is based on weekly chart. I mentioned if you put our FIB here, this is the... We were lines or resistance. We are looking to see the breakout of. That's mean with the break. We have been looking to see the breakout of the 94 cent. And as we can see exactly for today, the price tag 94 cent. There was no breakout. Okay, no one see what's the next. All right. Anyway, we move to higher time frame. We move to monthly chart. Based on monthly chart, we don't. We didn't have even in my last analysis. We didn't have much explanation. I'm. We, I mean, we didn't explain much. Right. The only things as I mentioned, based on weekly chart, uh, sorry, monthly chart, we're looking for reversal. We have we are looking to see the breakout of any of this stuff. Then from there we can give update. What's the next after the breakout of the here and here? All right. The only question was, can we expect this one to give us one more drop before we look for the reversal? We discussed about this possibility, and we mentioned we have to be aware of that. But we don't need to wait for the next drop before we look for the reversal as a long term. That's why I mentioned if we get any opportunity for buy from here, we will take it. And we are looking to see the breakout of the previous stop at least. Okay. And uh, now we move to lower time frame. And even based on lower time frame, based on uh, weekly, as I mentioned, we have been looking to see the breakout of the 94 cent. The 94 cent wasn't target for us. Based on what I explained, based on daily chart, we give us the level we have been looking for. The price drop to was 42. Then we give a targets, all right? But based on weekly chart, we have been looking to see the breakout of the 94 cent. As we can see the price tag 94, there was no breakout. Because with the breakout of the 94, I'm looking to see the breakout of 1.13 following by 1.33. When the price tag 1.33, then we have to look into the, the previous stop. At least I'm looking to see the breakout of the 94, 1.13, then the previous stop, which is above higher than 1.33. Okay, because with the breakout of any of these three levels, then we are looking to see the breakout of somewhere around 2.0. Okay, what's the target we can expect to get? Uh, I mean, the, it's moved within this uh, year. First, we have to see the breakout of any of these levels. Then we see whether the price can break 2.0 and the all-time hype then. Because somewhere I can see they're expecting for 4, 6, and even 10. At this point, yes, we can in the long term, we can expect. But at this point, we have to see the breakout of any of these levels. First here, 2.0. Then from there, we can look for the next levels. Okay, That means at this point... I'm looking to see the breakout of the 94 then I'm looking for 1.13 flowing by 
okay? Now, the price tag 94, it dropped, okay? It's normal. We want to, we have to look for the correction based on lower time frame before we look for the next uh, target. That's mean based on weekly chart, we have nothing else to discuss. The only thing is breakout of the 94 cent, all right? And if we refer to the indicators, we don't have much thing to discuss based on the indicators, all right? Even here and even here, even uh, based on... Uh, this indicator, we have a divergence here. Yes, for the divergence, that means we have we need to be quite careful for the next draw. But at this point, we don't need to really care about that. Okay. And if I move to lower time frame based on daily chart, as I mentioned, the target based on daily chart, we have been looking for break. We see the breakout of the target. That's mean the, the price tag over targets. We have to uh, move our stop loss to at least break even. Again, it depends on the traders and the strategy they use. They should know how to manage it. And do we have the trade setup at this point? No, based on daily chart, I don't see. And if I refer to the indicators, we have a divergence and as well here, okay. That's why we need to be quite careful. But at this point, we, need, we don't need to really care about the divergence because mostly if we refer to the divergence, we should look for the next drop. We are not going to look for the next drop at this point, okay? That's mean if we see any uh, trade setup based on lower time frame, we will take it but we should know how to manage it. And the divergence, the only things that we need to care, if we get any opportunity for buy from within this correction, we should know how to manage it. At least move our stop loss to break even, okay? And as I mentioned, I don't see any trade setup. And we want to see whether the price break the 94 cent. And if I move to lower time frame, even forward chart is too early to discuss about the next trade setup because I don't see any trade setup and we don't need to refer to the, the indicators. And even based on one hour chart, okay? Now, if anyone wants to look for the next trade setup, simply we cannot take the trade. At least we need to look for the flag. It depends on the strategy and the time frame they're looking for, either one hour or 15 minutes or anything else. Okay. At this point, if we want to look for the flag, we have to refer to the one hour or 15 minutes or even five minutes. Again, it depends on the strategy the traders are using. But we, for me, whatever I say here is my opinion. At this point, I don't see any trade setup. It doesn't mean the price cannot continue. Okay, but as I say, since I don't see any trade setup, I'm not really interested to take the next trade. If I see any flag, it depends on the time frame, then I will look for the next trade setup. Okay, the only things I suggest here at this point, we should manage our trade, at least book some profit. Okay, because even if you refer to the indicators, I don't see anything here and here. Even we, I mean, we don't have much information here. The only thing is based on forward, I see the divergence and mostly we are expecting to see the correction of flag. And the best thing is if we see the correction based on one hour or uh, forward chart for continuation. All right. Now, uh, as I mentioned, we don't have anything else to discuss. If I move to the only thing is based on weekly chart. I'm really interested to see the breakout of the 94 cent because mostly we can be the breakout of the 94 or with this soon, we are expecting to see the breakout of the stop. What is the, the top you are looking for is a, a bit higher more than, I mean, a bit higher than 1.33 somewhere. We are expecting somewhere below, around 1.33 and 1.42. Okay, because with the breakout of this one, then I, I'm expecting to see the breakout of the 2.0. Okay, but by the way, we don't say anything else. And we don't see any trade setup. We have to wait. And the only thing is we want to see the breakout of the 94 following by 1.13, following by 1.33. Okay. Again, whatever I say here, whenever I say I don't see any trade setup, it doesn't mean the price cannot continue. But we should know the strategy we are looking for to get the trade. Okay. For me, at this point, I will look for the next flag. And in this case, we just follow the chart. If I see any update, I will, I, I will share. And uh, for this year's, we really hope the XRP can give us a uh, really good profit to us and uh, the breakout of the 3.0 we are expecting at least for this year, unless we see the changes and we see the bad news because mostly whatever comes for the XRP is the news at this point. Again, just we follow the chart. If I see any update, I will share. Thanks.